If you're using a low-end laptop right now, you already know the pain. You click a browser icon and instead of the page loading quickly, you sit there, staring at a blank screen while the fans roar like a jet engine. By the time your email finally opens, you could have made a sandwich, eaten it, and maybe even washed the dishes. The truth is, the browser you use makes a massive difference. Some are like heavy trucks, powerful but slow and bulky. Others are like light bicycles, simple, fast, and easy to push even on weak hardware. Today, we're going through the 10 fastest browsers for low-end laptops, so you can finally browse the web without pulling your hair out. Stick with this video, because by the end, you'll know exactly which browser fits your machine and your style. We'll talk about what makes these browsers fast, what the trade-offs are, and which ones you should skip if you don't want constant frustration. Before we jump into the top 10, let's clear something up. Why does your laptop choke when you open a browser? It comes down to three main things. First, memory, also called RAM. If your browser eats too much RAM, your other apps starve. Second, CPU usage. Your processor can only handle so many tabs, videos, and scripts before it starts gasping. Third, background bloat. Features you don't need running behind the scenes, stealing power and slowing everything down. That's why the best browser for you depends on your laptop's limits. A 5-year-old machine with 4 gigs of RAM has very different needs compared to a newer budget laptop with 8 gigs. Keep that in mind as we go through the list. Let's start with the one that usually surprises people, Microsoft Edge. Edge has quietly become one of the fastest and lightest browsers on Windows. Because it's built directly into the system, it plays nicely with your laptop's resources. It uses a trick called sleep tabs, which puts unused tabs to bed so they don't eat memory. It also has something called startup boost, making it launch almost instantly when you click the icon. Now, here's the issue. Edge sometimes nags you with Microsoft features you don't care about, and depending on your privacy settings, it does send some data back to Microsoft. But if your priority is speed on a low-end Windows laptop, Edge is hard to beat. And if Edge feels a little too tied to Microsoft for your taste, let's look at another browser that comes packed with extras. Opera is like the clever multitasker. It comes with a built-in ad blocker, a free VPN, and even a battery saver mode, all without slowing down too much. On weak laptops, blocking ads and trackers actually saves resources, so you'll notice faster page loads. But let's be clear, Opera is not perfect. If you open 30 tabs full of heavy websites, Opera will still chew through RAM like the rest, and its extension library is smaller than Chrome's. Still, for light to moderate use, Opera feels smooth and polished even on older laptops. Now, Opera bundles a lot of features, but what if you want speed without the extra baggage? That's where the next one comes in. Brave is all about speed through blocking. It blocks ads, trackers, and scripts that normally slow your laptop down. The result? Pages load faster, videos stutter less, and your fan doesn't sound like it's preparing for takeoff. Another plus? Brave leans heavily on privacy, but that does come with a trade-off. Its interface and sync features aren't as polished as the big names. If you want something simple, safe, and fast though, Brave deserves a look. Still, not everyone wants a new browser with a unique design. Some people prefer a classic that stood the test of time. And that brings us to the next option. Firefox is the veteran. It's been around for ages, but it's still here for a reason. Out of the box, it might not feel as lightning fast as Chromium-based browsers like Edge or Brave, but here's the secret. Firefox lets you tweak almost everything. Want fewer processes running? You can adjust that. Want lighter memory usage? Disable some of the extra features. With a little tuning, Firefox can be one of the most efficient browsers for older machines. And if you're the kind of person who likes to customize things, Firefox is your best friend. But what if you like the Firefox style just faster? That's where the next browser steps in. Waterfox is a fork of Firefox, basically a version built for speed and privacy. It cuts out some of the background bloat and telemetry, making it lighter on your system. That means it can run smoother on low-end laptops while still supporting most Firefox extensions. The downside is updates. 
Since Waterfox isn't backed by a giant company, security patches may arrive slower. But if your laptop struggles with standard Firefox, Waterfox can be the leaner alternative you're looking for. And if you're really looking for old-school simplicity, there's another Firefox cousin worth checking out. Here's one for the tinkerers. Pale Moon is an older-style browser with a lightweight, single-process design. That means it doesn't spawn tons of background tasks the way modern browsers do. On weak laptops, this saves a lot of RAM. But be warned, Pale Moon can stumble on modern websites that demand the latest features. Streaming platforms, for example, may not always cooperate. If you mainly browse simpler sites, news, blogs, forums, then Pale Moon is a hidden gem. Of course, Pale Moon is a little bare bones. If you want something lean but with stronger privacy, the next pick might be a better fit. LibreWolf is another Firefox-based browser, but this one focuses on privacy and cutting out background tasks. It disables a lot of prefetching, background connections, and hidden tracking that you'd normally never notice. That makes it leaner and often faster on weak hardware. The price? Less polish. You might need to tweak some settings to get everything working the way you like, but if you're okay with a stripped-down experience, LibreWolf gives you speed and peace of mind. But maybe you don't want forks or privacy experiments. Maybe you just want something super simple. That's where the next one shines. Midori is the definition of minimal. Its interface is so clean and simple that it feels almost bare bones. That's the point. With fewer features to run in the background, Midori stays light on memory and CPU. Of course, the trade-off is obvious. Some modern sites, especially streaming and interactive ones, might not work perfectly. But if you just need a no-frills browser for reading, email, or online shopping, Midori keeps things snappy. And if you think Midori is lightweight, wait until you see the next one. It's practically a feather. This one is for the truly old machines, the kind of laptops you'd expect to see in a museum. Chameleon is incredibly lightweight, with a classic Windows-style interface. It's not flashy, but it runs where others crawl. That said, don't expect it to handle every modern feature. Some websites may break or look odd, but if your laptop is barely hanging on, Chameleon might be the only browser that gives you a smooth experience. And finally, we can't wrap up this list without mentioning the browser everyone knows. Yes, Chrome makes the list, but not for the reasons you think. Chrome is the king of speed when it comes to raw performance. Its V8 engine is one of the fastest for loading modern, heavy websites. On a decent machine, Chrome feels lightning quick. The problem is, Chrome is also the greediest browser. It eats RAM like candy. On a low-end laptop, this can cripple your system if you keep too many tabs open. But if you have slightly better hardware and you want maximum compatibility with websites and extensions, Chrome is still worth considering. So what's the takeaway here? If you want the best balance of speed and features on a low-end laptop, start with Edge, Brave, or Opera. If you love customization, check out Firefox or Waterfox. If your laptop is ancient, Pale Moon, Midori, or Chameleon might be the only way to get a smooth experience. And if you just want everything to work, Chrome is still an option, as long as you don't overload it with tabs. The real trick is to match the browser to your machine. Don't force Chrome onto a 5-year-old laptop with 4 gigs of RAM. It'll drive you crazy. Instead, pick something lighter, and you'll be shocked at how much faster your computer feels. At the end of the day, your browser is the window to everything you do online. With the right choice, even an older laptop can feel brand new. So go ahead, try a couple of these, see which one feels right, and enjoy browsing without the endless waiting. Because here's the truth, you don't need the fastest computer to have a fast experience. You just need the right tools.